I have removed every single pack. Luckily, Shanice's outfit is still base game. We don't have much to choose from. I know you're all basic bitches and you love Willow Creek, <laughs> but today we are going in Oasis Springs for once. Starting out in our very ugly abode. The first thing you always do in The Sims 4 is you get a job. Oh, do you know what? I love the UI of the phone without all of the packs. It's so much easier to understand what's going on. To be fair, we do have a lot of jobs in the base game itself, and I'd actually like Shanice to be an entertainer. She wants to write jokes and practice music, although I have noticed the game is still lagging, so it seems like removing all the packs doesn't resolve that issue. <laughs> I'm gonna have to restart the game. This is ridiculous. Already we've got issues. <laughs> I am gonna redecorate because it literally looks horrific in here, like honestly horrific. And you know, it's a great opportunity to see what the base game build stuff is actually like. I'm gonna try and keep it like a similar design. A couple of years ago, the base game actually received a big update to all of the base game stuff in Built Mode where it got a ton of new swatches, which obviously hasn't been updated for all of the base game builds. Also like this tall wardrobe here did not exist in the base game before, but now it does. And it's the only wardrobe in the base game. Well, apart from this really expensive, weird modern one and this other proper modern one. I mean, this is quite modern, but it's the only proper cheap one we have. And that's thanks to a base game update. So it has come a long way. I have had to cut down massively on using nice stuff because we've only got to start a budget. But for what it's worth, I feel like you can make an okay space with just the base game alone. They have updated it with a lot more decorations now. I think it's fine. Although Shanice does not look too impressed. In the base game, you're probably thinking like, what do I do now? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I mean, we've got skills that we could gain. I like to practice writing jokes because that's a part of our job. Although we are being rudely interrupted by Johnny Zest, our new neighbor. He's a part of the welcome wagon. So at least we've got an opportunity to socialize and make friends in the game. Come into my house, why not? Although he doesn't have a fruitcake, I'm a little bit offended. I will say the menu for actually talking with Sims is a lot easier without any packs installed because you haven't got any of the weird interactions that exist. But at least we are making a new friend. Shanice was hungry. I didn't talk about it on camera, but she was hungry. So she made a mac and cheese, but Johnny Zest immediately stole it. One absolute cow. <laughs> I think it's time for you to get out my house, please, sir. Send home. Thank you. One absolute div. I can't believe he just stole my food and he didn't give me a fruitcake. I'm so disappointed. I guess as practicing jokes as well and raising up her comedy skill, she she does also need to learn an instrument as well. But may I say, like the buy mode, it's so much easier to navigate. It makes me realize how much we desperately need like an expanded build catalog because with just base game only, it's so easy to see everything. It genuinely is an absolute godsend. Also, I think it's great that the calendar was finally put in the base game. Granted, it's spring constantly, apparently. At least it helps to give you a sense of time without seasons in it. Although now now we've restarted the game, honestly, without any packs, the game just genuinely feels a lot smoother. Like, is my game laggy because I have so many packs? Am I being punished because I gave EA all my money on all the packs? Now my game is lagging as a result. That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> anyway, I want to put Shanice in a good mood before work. So we're going to psych her up. Now she's confident because it is so easy to manipulate emotions in The Sims 4. Anyway, off to work we go. Obviously, without any packs installed, going to work is so boring because it's always a rabbit hole experience. It's not like if you own Get to Work, for example, and it's a lot more fun. Even not just Get to Work, but some of the other packs like Get Famous have live careers. I feel like live careers are a must for a live simulation game. I think it is a shame that in The Sims they're always rabbit hole experiences, but there we go. Shanice has just come back from work. She's stinky and she's getting a call from Johnny Zest. He thinks Nina Caliente is cute. Should I ask her out? Go for it, mate. Literally go for it. I have better things to attend to, like the fact that I'm extremely stinky right now. But with just the base game alone, honestly, it just feels very simple. Like I'm just looking after my Sims needs and I'm raising their skills, but it doesn't really feel like there's that much to it. If you know what I mean? Johnny Zest has invited himself over. Don't eat my garden salad, please, sir. That is mine. I wonder if he's going to come to my house every single day. That will be a little bit annoying. Shanice is tense from work so she can complain about her problems to him. Not that Shanice Shanice remembers she had her first day at 
work because if you want memories in The Sims 4, you need The Sims 4 growing together. That was a base game feature of previous Sims games. In that respect, you may say that The Sims 4 growing together expansion pack basically is what the base game should be, but I'm not doing it because you have to pay for it. So obviously it sucks that Sims don't have memories in The Sims 4 base game, but there's not much that we can really do about that. But every day does feel very mundane. It very much feels like, okay, look after my Sims needs, try and raise a couple of skills here and there, go to work. Every single day feels exactly the same. I mean, I guess that's like real life. <laughs> Every day is mundane and boring. Johnny Zest has come to my house again. Sir, go away, please go home. You're harassing me now. It's annoying. Also, I got promoted, which is lovely. And we unlocked a business card object. I can chuck that on my PC desk. Why not? Now, I know we've only been at work for like two days. <laughs> we've already been promoted. I do think it's a little bit too easy, The Sims 4 base game. You know, if you have a pack like Discover University, it adds a little bit more depth to careers because you're like, well, I've got to study at university first before I can get a good job. With the live careers, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit more tough, but I do think the base game is very easy. Not just careers, but you know, just filling up their needs, raising their skills. Everything feels like a grind, but you don't know why you're grinding and doing it because there's not really any end result. But anyway, after my two long, hard days at work, I am going to take a couple of days off. How do you do that? Don't know because the UI for the telephone is so confusing. How on earth do you take a day off work? Am I being stupid? How do you take a day off? <laughs> Apparently the game won't let me take a day off because there's no vacation rentals. But what if I want to take a day off without a vacation rental? Oh, do you know why? I think I'm being stupid. Do you know why? It's because tomorrow is actually a day off for my sim. <laughs> She's got Wednesday and Thursday off. Oopsie daisy. Anyway, one thing that you can do in the Sims 4 base game is have events. So for tomorrow on her day off, I would like to schedule a house party. No, I'm not. I'm going to have a dinner party. And oh no, you need two guests. Oh, I don't have two friends. I can't do that. Oh no, I need another friend. All right, we'll have to make a friend tomorrow morning. So it's bright and early. It's eight o'clock in the morning. We're going to go to the park and make some friends to invite to our dinner party later. Is there anyone here? There's nobody here right now. So we may as well get started on doing some fishing instead, just to keep our mind busy. We could also go looking for some frogs, you know. Obviously in The Sims 4, we have some of the base game collections. There's quite a lot of different collections in the base game to be fair, 18 in total with loads of stuff to collect. So I guess there's a lot of stuff you can do, although it does just involve looking around, seeing if you can find a rock and digging it. But I guess it's a nice little touch if you're one of those people that likes collecting things. Oh, now she's doing press ups randomly. Of course she is, that's a Sims 4 special. <laughs> Well, anyway, somebody's here. Leroy Cruz, you, I don't like your blue suit. I'm not talking to you. Shayla Perez, she looks like she's dead inside, although it is first thing in the morning. She's probably quite tired. Anyways, hello, madam. She walked away. I don't know why, but it says she has a festering grudge about me. It's hard to forget or forgive the past. What did I even do? <laughs> Obviously, the Sims 4 base game came out of these sentiments update, which is like social memories, but it's not really that in depth. It's a bit weird and sometimes you get weird sentiments like a festering grudge and you don't know why. Should we speak to Keith Perez instead? Is that her husband or something? A boyfriend? He's a lot more sexy than she is anyway. More than happy to speak with you. Maybe we can even um, steal him and woohoo with him. Anyway, he seemed to take a bit more liking to us. So now we're done using him, we can go home. But before we go home, the loading screen first has to load and then we get the loading screen and then we load into the lot. There is a lot of loading in The Sims 4. Anyways, I want to schedule my little dinner party with Perez and Johnny. Why not? We're not taking Shayla though. Don't like her. We do that at six o'clock. That'll give me enough time to learn how to cook because <laughs> I don't know how to cook. I would like to raise my cooking skill, but I got to buy a new cooking book. One thing I don't like about The Sims 4 base game is that you can just like buy stuff from the bookshelf. You don't have to go to the shop. In The Sims 3 base game, and I believe in The Sims 2 base game too, you had to go into a shop itself. But in the Sims 3 base game, it doesn't really come with shops, which is very strange. It's definitely very immersion breaking. I feel like shopping is a very standard base game thing to do.
do, but it doesn't even exist in any packs other than get to work the retail system. But even then, it's a little bit of a chore because the pack doesn't come with all the different kinds of shops that you'd need. Anyways, it's our dinner party soon. I'm not even ready. We don't even have an extra chair. Probably get one of those. Apparently, these little parties do a lot better too if you have a stereo. So I'll chuck one of those in the corner here by the cooker. Not dangerous at all. <laughs> Let's start. The guests here. Okay, they're here. They seem to have dressed up. I did not dress up. Oopsie daisy. There's a certain thing. We need to have all of the Sims dance at the same time. And that can be very, very difficult to do in the Sims 4. It really is difficult. I don't know why. Invite Keith to dance. Invite Johnny to dance. Is it going to work? Are they all going to dance? Like, oh my God, they're dancing together in the kitchen. Very strange thing to do at dinner party. But there we go. I also have to have Sims become happy all at the same time. But emotion in The Sims 4 are very difficult because right now they're all playful from dancing. So it's like, how do I make them happy? They're playful. Is it playful the same as happy? I don't know. Anyway, I feel like that's going to be a tough one to do. They're still dancing while Shanice is making her tacos. Johnny says, you actually have quite a perky ass. I am quite attracted to that bottom. Although he's distracting Shanice from cooking. Oh, anyway, food's ready. Guys, let's all grab a serving. We should probably, oopsie, how do I do it? Call to meal. That's the way to go about it. There we go. Oh my God. Now we've got to have Sims all drink at the same time. We don't have a bar. How do we make them drink? I didn't think this through. Do I need to very quickly buy a bar? It feels very, do you know what I find so weird about The Sims? Why do I need a bar to have a drink? In what world do you have a bar just to have a drink? Do you know what I mean? Is this an American thing culturally because The Sims is an American game? Like, how do you drink? <laughs> is it like, oh, sorry, you can't have a drink. No orange juice for you. You don't have a bar. <laughs> like, how does that even work? So it looks like we can't drink at the same time. Oops. I would like Sims to become happy all at the same time, but I'm not quite sure how to do it. The Sims 4 doesn't really come with any like fun activities to do in the base game. So it's difficult to know how we can really raise our happiness needs together. We've got this game table. Maybe I could put that outside because there's not really much room. Get a couple of cheap chairs. Maybe we could all play cards together. Would that be a fun thing to do? Do you know what? This is a base game activity I've genuinely never done ever in my entire life before. I've never done it. Are they having fun? I'm not sure if they're having fun. He's happy. This other guy. Oh my god, come back, sir. Are you happy? He's in a playful mood. I mean, technically everyone is happy. It's just only one of them is technically happy. The others are playful, but playful is still happy. So emotions in the Sims World base game are still very dumb, unfortunately. Anyway, we've completed our event and we got a silver award. It's very difficult, I think, to complete events when you have the base game alone because there's not much to do, but at least it's a little something extra to make the base game a bit better. Now, obviously something else you can do in the Sims 4 base game is raise a family uh, because I can't be bothered to find somebody to woohoo with, make a baby with. I think it would be a lot easier to make a science baby, which is the Sims 4's way of saying surrogacy. Oh, I just noticed we've got this pot rack as a reward from doing that thing, but I need the money, so I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell the stereo. We still can't afford a science baby. Oops, a daisy. Looks like we're going to have to get rid of our potted plants and have an uglier house just so we can afford one. And we may as well get rid of the TV too. Science Baby came up in an update recently. Shanice can now take family leave. Lovely, we got a boy. His name is Tax Credit because that's the only reason why Shanice wants a child so she can claim benefits. Oh my God, we've got two. Oh my God, what? Oh my God, we've got Tax Credit. What's the other one going to be called? Tax Credit 2. It's if Shanice had twins. <laughs> Usually that's such a rarity. Oh, for Christ's sake, not twins. I didn't want twins. Oh well, we've got them now. Oh, for Christ's sake, we're going to have to reshuffle the whole house around now. Right, Shanice, you're not allowed a Qatar anymore. You're not allowed hobbies, I'm afraid. Gosh, what a nightmare is if we have two. That means we're gonna have to get two cribs, for Christ's sake. This is starting to feel more like a rags to riches thing or something. I didn't intend for it to be that way. Guys, I really don't want two kids. I don't want them, but we're lumped with them now. Newborn babies in The Sims 4 are horrifically boring, so I am just going to age them up, which you can automatically do without cheats because EA knows that their object babies are so boring, so luckily we're able to age them up literally immediately. So Shanice is washing up and leaving her child unattended. Now it's going outside. For Christ's sake, Shanice, you are an awful parent. I really just want to get rid of one of the babies. Child tax credit, Shanice. Can you, um, I think that is a cheat. Is there a cheat where you can get rid of it? Remove from family. There we go. I'm sorry, but I don't want you anymore. You're gone. That was a bit harsh of me, I admit, but I only, I could only deal with looking after one. So child tax credit two, you are the only one left. <laughs> the child's crying like, oh my God. Oh my God, the chart looks so evil. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's because it's Janice's child. We don't have baby changing tables in the base game because changing your diaper is extremely premium. But infants can do a lot of basic things, normal things that a little kid would do in real life. Although I will be honest, I cannot be bothered to look after it at all. Luckily for me, I can hire a nanny. So that's always good. That means Janice, Janice can get on with her life and just ignore her child, which is lovely. Although the nanny is not actually doing anything. She's just ran. Why are you cooking in my house? <laughs> Why are you cooking? Please look after my child. She's literally ignoring it and just standing there. So it looks like the AI for nannies is still broken. And you'll find a lot of things in The Sims 4 are quite broken and poorly implemented. A lot of the base game things, allegedly, the game was made in a little bit of a rush. Therefore, allegedly, a lot of things in the base game are very broken, unfortunately, especially compared to previous Sims games. So if you do have the base game only, you are going to have to deal with that. I mean, what if we like fire her and get rid of her? Will that change anything? She's not. No, she's not doing anything. You're getting fired, mate. I'm going to have to hire a new one, aren't I? Because she was literally terrible. Will this new nanny come in time? There we go. We got a new nanny. I wonder if he's going to actually do anything. Is he going to pick up the infant or is he just going to talk to me? I don't know what he's going to do. He's not touching the infant. I don't even know where the infant's gone. He's crawling around. The infant needs to be fed. There we go. He's feeding him finally. Right, this one kind of knows what he's doing, even though it's 2 a.m. and we're outside. <laughs> the AI is still very dumb, unfortunately. So yeah, we can get rid of him. It looks like Shanice is going to have to do it alone. There's no other option. Also, a big issue with The Sims 4 base game is even though it gets a lot of updates because it's a very buggy game, a lot of the recent updates, like they don't work very well. Like I clicked on the thing, which is supposed to say clean up infant. Oh, the infant disappeared. Where did my infant go? <laughs> just as I was basically saying, guys, I was literally just about to say when EA releases new updates for the base game, they're always incredibly glitchy and the infant's update is no different. So it looks like our infant has literally disappeared. I was going to age him up so I could show you what he looks like as a child and as a teen, but that's not possible. <laughs> oh no, he's back now. <laughs> what the hell happened there? Oh no, he's disappeared again now. Guys, oh my god, for Christ's sake. I said, I just told you, the Sims 4 base game is very cursed. Honestly though, I feel like in this game, there's not really much to do. It's like, you know, if you want to raise kids like I'm doing now, like you need the parenthood pack because that pack is about raising a family. Oh, and you also need growing together because you need two packs in order to raise a family in The Sims 4. One a game pack, the other an expansion pack. You know, if I want to make a domestic Sim and I want to be like, okay, she needs to be a stay at home mum. Then I need to get the laundry day pack so she can do household duties and I need to get the bus the dust pack so she can, you know, vacuum the floor. If I want my sim to be, you know, a millennial, work their way up in life, then I probably need to get, you know, maybe the city living packs starting off in the city, going forward in your life. Like in The Sims 4, if you want to do anything, you need the pack for it. The Sims 4 is a very cash grabby game. Based on my review of The Sims 4 base game now with all of the updates, would I say that The Sims 4 base game is honestly worth it? Guys, I don't really think it's worth it alone with the base game. You're probably wondering, Satch, what packs do I actually need in order to make the base game more fun? I have two videos for you. The first one is an ultimate pack guide to every single pack for The Sims 4, giving you a detailed explanation. The video has timestamps, even though it's an hour long, so it's fine. Also, I have a more casual video as well that you can look at, so check out one of these ones. I hope you found this video fun and useful. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.